I had to continually remind everybody, but uh, trying to explain a lot of things that were explained by someone else better uh, becomes kind of difficult. Somebody asked me to explain uh, why anger is a better response than apathy. And the answer to this pretty much has to go back to um, Dr. David R. Hawkins in Consciousness Research. And he explains it way better than I can explain it. He's uh, dead, though, and, you know, the videos and books are still there if you want to dig through them and get the right answer. But pretty much the answer that we're trying to explain is a response of anger. And someone was saying, well, you know, you choose anger to respond to something and Dr. Hawkins did talk a little bit about this, and he did say that anger can be a useful emotion, even though it is a negative field. In other words, if you stay in anger, it's going to, um, it's poisonous. It's a poisonous emotional field, anger. Why would you choose it then? Well, if you're in apathy, a very low energy state, apathy. Anger has more energy than apathy. So, you know, if someone's shooting spitballs at you, you know, they got their pen there, they're going and shooting spitballs at you in class, and they're getting in your hair, and they're hitting you in the back of the neck, and you don't do anything. No response. Is that apathy or it's tolerance? Let's go with it's apathy. Anger is a better response because anger might make you get up out of your chair, march down to wherever the spitballer is and punch them in the nose. How is that better? It's going to stop the um, behavior of the spitballer. Whereas if you have no reaction, the spitballer is going to spitball you and spitball you every day. So the anger has an energy about it that is going to perhaps stop the spitballer from hitting you with spitballs. What other reactions can you use with someone who's a spitballer? You could go way up into like the 400s on the scale of human consciousness and go and try to talk to them rationally. You know, you could say, yeah, you know, every time you put a spitball in my hair, you know, I have to go home and shampoo it all out. It takes me a lot of time to do this. You do it day after day. I know it's you. Please stop. Do you think the spitballer is going to... It ain't going to work. You can't rationally discuss this with some stupid asshole that's doing it to you. These kind of people that are spitballers, they understand very few things. Pretty much what they understand is... Um, if you stand up to a bully, you're not an easy target. And pretty much, you know, maybe they're going to go in a, a fight with you to see if you're going to back up your words with your fists. But even if you do get into a fist fight and you lose to this spitballer, the spitballer is still going to respect you. They are. It's everyone knows the story of bullies. It's like you stand up to a bully, even if they clean your clock, you stood up, they're gonna look at you and say, You're not an easy target, and they're gonna look for somebody else. How about the response of love? What would love look like? Because love starts at five hundred. It's higher than the you know, it's like These energy fields, um,
I don't get any words in a field of love. How is love different than apathy? It's not the same. It's not the same field. Apathy and love that's not using word. It's not the same. Does it look the same to the spitballer? Yes, it looks the same. If you don't react out of apathy or you don't react out of the vibration of love, it looks the same to the spitballer. Does it feel the same to the spitballer? Yes. Because the spitballer is not changing their frequency. What if you had a really strong aura? Could you affect the spitballer? Let's not go too far into that because pretty much... Maybe. What's going to work best for you? I can't tell you. I pretty much want to tell you, if you feel like you can get your vibration rockin' high, way up at levels like peace, what's going to happen with you and the spitballer? You might find that you're in a search for a level that you can't really put your finger on. What kind of level? Something about you getting your vibration so high that the spitballers, if they do come around, uh, their behavior changes. If you have a choice to respond with anger and go up and punch the spitballer or get your vibration really high, get your vibration really high. What might happen, but could, I can't say what might happen because there's, a, I, I can't say, I can't say, but um, we're really encouraging people to get their vibration up, you know, to peace which is like 600 on the scale of human consciousness. I just want to give you an example. Uh, last week, there was um, a street tough who um, saw me outside of the karaoke bar, and um, I could tell he was a dangerous person. Dangerous person. And my vibration's always high. What happened? Well, I was standing with a group of people, and this uh, dangerous person focused on me, came up to me, and said something. And my body just sort of turned to the side. And behind me was a person that this street tough knew. He didn't know me, he never seen me before, but he knew this other person. What happened? The situation was diffused. The street tough didn't pay any more attention to me, but he looked like he was ready to punch me. Just had a anyway. Um, so what happened? Well, the street tough went away, didn't bother me, but he was still a dangerous person. Even though he was in my aura, like he was right here, right nose to nose with me, right in my aura. 
but the intelligence of the field it's like it knew this was going to happen and it had me standing in front of the, the person that this street tough knew there's intelligence in these fields it's not dumb peace it's not stupid these fields of uh, higher fields of consciousness are full of intelligence So if we go back to the example, you respond in anger, is that a good one? Dr. Hawkins talked about this. He, said, well, he used to give lectures to um, governments how to deal with difficult rogue nations. You know, he would maybe give a lecture to uh, the, I don't know if he ever did, but, you know, a government of the United States on how to deal with someone like North Korea. And generally speaking, Dr. Hawkins would uh, give the example of Neville Chamberlain, who was Prime Minister of Britain, uh, who went to uh, Berlin and signed a document with Adolf Hitler to prevent war. And um, there were some giveaways. Basically, Britain said, well, you know, you can have Czechoslovakia and we will look the other way. It was a policy called appeasement. Give the bully what he wants. And um, Neville Chamberlain was famous for coming back to London and uh, waving this document in the air and saying, peace in our time. And in the end, there was no peace. So what Dr. Hawkins would say to the American government is, you need a big army. Don't go for disarmament. Don't go for it, because there was a lot of peaceniks that said, you know, disarmament is the way forward on planet Earth. And Dr. Hawkins would say, no, you don't understand. You disarming yourself simply opens the doors for all of these bullies to walk into your country and abuse you. And is it, well, let's look at the um, calibrated level of consciousness of the United States. It's not a high level of consciousness, a country as a whole. It's not. Maybe it's like, I'd have to go look it up, but I'm going to go with, it's not 540, it's not unconditional love. Is it in the four? No, it's not in the 400s. Is it in the three? It might be in the 300s. And North Korea, um, 90 on the scale of human consciousness. You give uh, North Korea a nuclear weapon, it's going to use it on you. So you have got to maintain your defenses. You have to. Because these people at low levels of consciousness um, they understand force and that's all they understand if you could get your whole country meditating and raising their consciousness raising their vibration to I don't know let's go with I don't know how high let's go with 500 if you could get everyone up to 500 in your country and you're dealing with North Korea. Do you still need this army? Yes. You do. If you were Jesus at a thousand, what do you need? Well, that's a, a whole country at a thousand. We don't have one on Earth. We don't have an example. It's 
it's something to shoot for, because then we can find out what would happen. But in the meantime, you know, if someone brings up this idea of disarmament, at the current state of planet Earth, uh, no, you still need your army, because there's still a lot of very evil people on planet Earth. And in the meantime, if you're not in the army, um, get your own consciousness up. Because it is a protection for you. If you can get your consciousness way up to the 500s, then these intelligent fields will help you out. And the thing is that these intelligent fields don't tell you ahead of time what's going to happen. Pretty much what you do is you get yourself in a high state of consciousness and you maintain it. You don't go into fear. If you feel fear coming on, you recognize, I'm feeling a fear vibe and it's not my energy. And what that does, it just helps you. Because you can still feel these low levels of consciousness. You feel it in your body. And you get very good at identifying, it ain't my energy. It's not me. And the fear energy wants me to run. Run away. Well, you don't know what a high vibration is going to do, however. Another time there was uh, another street tough at a different place um, who was looking to get into a fight. My vibration was very high. And... Um, we had an interaction for a little while, and this person um, really didn't, and it wasn't a bluffing, this person really wanted to get into a fight. And in the end, um, well, I told him if he wanted to fight, I would fight him. And I stood my ground. In the end, he left. I wasn't sure what he was going to do, but in the end, he left. But I didn't decide that. I didn't. In the moment, it all happened. All the words came, all the actions came. I didn't think about what I was going to do. All I was is present moment. Present moment, present moment, present moment. And what came out of my mouth and the actions of the body, I didn't do it. It was all automatic from being in a high state of consciousness. So even a high state of consciousness doesn't mean that you won't get in a fight. But this one, he left. He didn't come at me again. And what ifs, what ifs, that's just the way it was. So your personal protection, the intelligence of the consciousness field of higher vibrations is a good thing to have. It's a protection for you. If I had been in a field of anger from this person, we would have been in a fight right away. And that what would have happened, he probably would have beat me up. This person was like 22 years old, young, vibrant. I'm an old man. One-on-one, -on -one. I don't think I could take that little kid. <laughs>